Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 101, verse 16. Therefore let your hearts be comforted concerning Zion, for all flesh is in mine hands. Be still and know that I am God. Alright, we are all children of God and He loves us. We are all siblings of Jesus Christ. He loves us so much that he died for us. That we might be able to look beyond our imperfections. And have comfort in that we can become just like him someday. And we, we worry sometimes. We worry a lot. As mortal beings, we worry more than we should. And our hearts sometimes get caught up in worrying that we forget that we're, we've got our agency, yes. But we don't have to worry and freak out and obsess and just try and be in control because the Lord is in control. We make our choices that the Lord's will be done. So we need to have we need to have comfort in our hearts knowing that we are not alone in trying to become Zion like beings. We are not alone in trying to learn peace and trying to achieve peace. We are not alone in our trials, our burdens, our sufferings. We're not alone because Jesus Christ suffered all things for all of us. So if we need comfort, all we need to do is come to Him as we are. Because as I said in yesterday's devotional, the atonement covers more than just sin. We are imperfect, yes, but we are beings of the flesh created by Heavenly Father, and we are in His hands. We don't need to obsess and worry over the tiniest little thing. We don't need to allow our burdens to make us feel as if we are carrying every pain out there, because Christ already did that. Christ already suffered. Why don't we give our burdens to Christ and allow our hearts to be comforted knowing that God is there for us? We just need to be still. We need to calm our troubled minds and our troubled hearts through prayer and allow God to do what He will. We may not understand what He's doing sometimes, but it is for our good. God knows us better than we know ourselves. If we are righteous, He will bless us. It may take some time to receive some of the blessings we are promised for righteousness and for doing that which will prepare us for blessings, but we will receive all blessings. So we need to be comforted in that we are never forgotten, we are never alone. And we are never, we, can't, we don't have to ever be in pain unless we want to be. For God and Jesus Christ are there for us. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.